A young man applied for a job at a large printing company. He passed the first interview and was going to meet the director for the final interview. The director saw his resume, and it was excellent. At the interview, the director asked, Have you received a scholarship for school? The young man replied, No. Was it your father who paid for your studies? asked the director. Yes, replied the young man. Where does your father work? asked the director. My father is a blacksmith, replied the young man. The director asked the young man to show him his hands. He showed a pair of soft and perfect hands. Have you ever helped your parents at their job? asked the director. The young man said, Never. My parents always wanted me to study and read more books. Besides, he can do the job better than me. The director responded, I have a request. When you go home today, go and wash your father's hands, and then come to see me tomorrow morning. As the young man felt his chances of getting the job were high, he decided to agree with him. When he returned to his house, he asked his father if he would allow him to wash his hands. His father felt strange, yet happy, and showed his hands to his son. His son washed his hands slowly. It was the first time that he noticed that his father's hands were wrinkled and had many scars. Some bruises were so painful that his skin shuddered when he touched them. This was the first time that his son recognized what it meant for this pair of hands to work every day to be able to pay for his studies. The bruises on the hands were the price that his father paid for his son's education, his school activities, and his future. After cleaning his father's hands, the young man stood in silence and began to tidy and clean up the workshop. That night, the father and son talked for a long time. The next morning, the young man returned to the director's office. The director noticed the tears in the eyes of the young man as he asked, Can you tell me what you did and what you learned yesterday at your house? The young man replied, I washed my father's hands, and when I finished, I stayed and cleaned his workshop. Now I appreciate and recognize that without my parents, I would not be who I am today. By helping my father, I now realize how difficult and hard it is to do something on my own. I have come to appreciate the importance and the value in helping the family. The director said, This is what I look for in my people. I want to hire someone who can appreciate the help of others, a person who knows the hardship of others to do things, and a person who does not put money as their only goal in life you are hired. Children who always get what they want develop I have the right mentality and always put themselves first, ignoring the efforts of their parents. If we are this type of protective parent, are we really showing love or are we destroying our children? These type of parents may feel that they're showing love to their children, but they are actually destroying them. It's great to give your children a great life, but when you're washing the floor or painting the wall, please let them experience that, too. After eating, have them wash the dishes with their brothers and sisters. The most important thing is that your children learn to appreciate your efforts to experience the difficulties and to learn the ability to work with others to get things done.